that will bring you to your realm of financial rest. How many want to experience the reality of financial rest? How many here desire to have dominion over finances? Please listen to this prophet at this time. As I speak to you on this subject, assessing your worthy place, Christ. Assessing your worthy place in redemption. He became poor that we through his poverty might be made rich. Second Corinthians 8, 9. Jesus obtained for us power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, and glory, and blessings Revelation 5 verse 12. So abundance is part and parcel of our redemption in Christ. I have come that you may have life and have life more abundantly. John 10.10 10. By a prophet Israel. The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. Hosea 12 and verse 13. 26th of August 1987, I was on a mission to America, United States, and the Lord said to me that early morning. Arise, get back home, and make my people rich. So I'm not a teacher of prosperity. I'm not a preacher of prosperity. I'm not a race of fund. I'm sent as his prophet of prosperity. Amen. Emptiness must end in your life. Amen. I fled and ran back home. And God began to do his work until he turned this commission to a global symbol of prosperity. A ministry that had never borrowed nor tempted to borrow has never begged or appealed under any guise for funds and yet has never lacked. Please listen. The Bible says, be followers of those who preach the word of faith to you, knowing the resource that what they teach command. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 7. He sent me as his agent for the empowerment of his people for wealth. Many of us have been in this church over time. You've never had any prayer point on finance. We've never made any special call of any special group of people for the purpose of fundraising. Winners and winners anywhere. Yes. They love God with passion. Yes. 
Yet we have not had a need to call. Hello, Timber and Caliber come. Everybody in this church is a Timber and Caliber. Jesus, the first begotten, is called the Son of the Highest. And we have a common father. We are here together of God. So we belong to the order of the highest. The highest don't beg. Now, in the 